So that happened now on VGN. Nintendo is reporting that the Switch is still the fastest selling Nintendo system ever, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. And it probably comes as no surprise that they were the number one selling console for the month of March in the US with 906,000 units sold. But what's crazy is that The Legend of Zelda actually sold 925,000 units for the Switch. That's not including the, the copies that were sold on the Wii U. So that means there was an attach rate over 100% of the system. So that probably leaves some of you scratching your head. How in the world does Nintendo sell more games than they have systems sold? Uh, for that month. And so a couple of explanations could be that some people bought the game before they got their hands on a Switch. I actually had a good friend who did just that. He bought the game early uh, and he thought he was going to be able to get a Switch on day one, but then it turned out it was a couple of weeks late. The other explanation is that it may have been purchased with another copy of the game. So somebody could have bought a limited edition to maybe save as a memento, not open it or anything else like that. And then and they bought another copy, a second copy, in order to actually play and game on. Either way, it continues to be a great launch for the Nintendo Switch, and you still got to get very lucky in order to find them in stock anywhere. Uh, we should be getting a clearer picture of how the system is selling worldwide on April the 27th. That's when Nintendo's next earning call is. But there's some other Nintendo news happening now that's leaving a lot of people scratching their head. Remember that other Nintendo console that they have that you can't find anywhere in stores? The NES Mini? Well, Nintendo apparently hates money because even though it's still in extremely high demand, it sells out as soon as it hits the store shelf, Nintendo says the last shipments will arrive in stores during the month of April, and then after that, it's being discontinued. So even though you probably weren't able to buy one if you wanted one, Nintendo is going to stop selling them. Uh, so that leaves the obvious question, why would you stop selling a product that sells itself and is in high demand. Uh, and so there's a few theories that are out in the open. One, it could be that the system really isn't making that much money for Nintendo, and maybe the margins aren't big enough for Nintendo to see a reason to continue, because you have to keep in mind that it launched with 100 games. So Nintendo had to create a contract and license for all those games that are on that system. And so, I mean, the margins may be pretty tight as it is. Another one could be that Nintendo was just pissed off about the system being hacked numerous times now. There's plenty of uh, videos that you may have seen where people are downloading, playing other games that they weren't intended to play on the system. And Nintendo kind of has a track record and is notorious for being extreme when it comes to, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but what it could also be, and if I were a betting man, this is probably where I would start to lay my bets, is that the NES Mini was meant to be a filler for the holiday season for Nintendo. You had the, the holiday season where everybody's going out buying stuff, and the Wii U wasn't going to be selling, Nintendo wasn't selling those, and they weren't going to be selling the Switch for a few months down the road. So Nintendo wanted to create hype for Nintendo, put out a product that they knew would be extremely popular, and create hype for their next machine that's coming out, get everybody back on that Nintendo train. And so now that that filler is over, now that they've got the actual system that's going to sell games, because you got to keep in mind, they're not going to be selling any more games for this NES Mini, um, but you can sell more games for the Switch. And so now that that you know, filler area is over, it's time to get back to the money maker, and that would be the Nintendo Switch. Plus, you might remember that Nintendo a few weeks ago announced that they were planning on doubling the production for the Switch uh, because their estimates had shot up. And so if they had a plant that was producing the mini, I mean, it may make sense for them to just shut that off, convert it to help them pump out to get more switches out in the open because their inventory is so short. But whatever the reason is, I mean, I hope this isn't the last time that we see a product like this from Nintendo because I thought it was a great idea. I'm a little bummed that I could never find one in stock, but my hope is that eventually we'll see like a Super NES Mini, which I would definitely be on board to buy. Uh, and maybe next time they can actually plan ahead to make sure people who want them can get them. 
Post your thoughts below on why you think the NES Mini was canceled, and do you think Switch is going to continue dominating the NPD charts for the next several months? Stay tuned to VideoGamesAndNews.com if you enjoy this channel and the news that it provides. Help support it by dropping a like. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.